Hi, Jacob. This is Alan Cockrell with ABC, former hitting coach with the Colorado Rockies and the Seattle Mariners. Analyzed some video this morning. Uh, first thing that we look for, or I look for, Jacob, is just a balanced setup. Uh, your setup, your stance is, is a style. It's a preference. It's the part of hitting that you're going to see that probably varies most with all hitters from little leaguers to big leaguers. Um, but again, the first thing that I focus on is, is balance. Uh, we want to see knees inside the feet, okay, and we want to see head inside the knees. As you can see here, we're in a good position from that area. Uh, would also like to see some good bend in the knees right here, and that's just going to uh, keep us or put us in a good balanced position as we move into the the next phase of hitting, which is the load phase. So we'll take it to the load. We will continue to look at the balance point. Okay, we'll take it forward, we'll take it forward as you start to load and stride. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to look for again is the balance. Our knees inside, we're okay, we're close there. We're okay here. Uh, one thing that we have is we have an inverted back foot. Uh, would rather see that foot more squared up to home plate, more in this position. Um, the other thing I would caution you about is just creating some tilt with these shoulders. That's going to cause us to work the bat uphill instead of, uh, uh, instead of flat through the hitting zone, that bat flat through the hitting zone. Our hands are just a little bit low. Okay, we can see here where our hands are. We'd rather have those hands uh, more up here, just off the shoulder. Okay, so we're going to square up those shoulders, and we're going to try to keep those hands right at about shoulder height. Okay, we'll run it forward. Um, okay, right before we start our swing, the other thing that I look for is that this front foot is no more open than 45 degrees. Okay, look at this. You can see here you're at 55, which is, it's not real bad, Jacob. It's just a little bit too far open. And what happens when that front foot gets open too much, then this front hip, hip starts to leak. That's going to end up being our first move to the baseball. And it just makes it a little bit difficult to to handle all the pitches in the strike zone, particularly those pitches that are on the outside part of the plate, the outer half or the outer third of the plate. So I'd like to see this foot more in a 45-degree um, angle, which is probably going to put you somewhere about right there. That'll, that'll close you up a little bit more and keep this front hip from wanting to leak out in, the, in this direction right here. Okay? So we'll erase this. We'll move forward. A little bit more okay now the as the swing starts what we want to do Jacob is we want to transfer energy into this front side okay from this back knee I want to transfer weight or energy into the inside part of this front thigh so you can see here your knee is starting to get out over your front foot so it's it's going to be difficult for this front side to receive the energy that the backside is sending towards it. Okay, so we want to try to keep that knee more in here inside this front foot so that we've got a brace to hit into. All right, we'll move it forward just a click more. Just a click more. Now's where the hands start to come into play. Okay, the lower half is our is our direction to the ball. It's also our drive. It's where our power comes from. The next phase is the hands phase. So shoulder, elbow, hip should all be in alignment. Okay, as you can see, the elbow's just gotten gotten in front of our power source just a little bit. Our power source is this back hip, which is the lower half. So we'd we'd rather see that elbow more in line with with this shoulder right here. Okay, instead of over here somewhere. So everything would be in a straight line down through that back hip. All right. We'll take it forward just a little bit more. Okay, we're coming to contact. Your hands are moving in front of your body in a good position. Okay, we've got a nice little bat lag right here, which means the hands are 
or moving the bat in front, take it forward to contact. Okay, at contact, we're in a very, very good, strong position right here with our hands. We're palm up, we're palm down, which is the strongest position our hands can be in. We have transferred energy at this point. As you can see, this front side, all right, that's good. Um, head and eyes should be looking right down the barrel as they are. Okay, so we'll run it forward just a little bit more past contact. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're good running forward here, we're good. Okay, now as you can see, we've got just a little bit of what I call a recoil on this back side. Okay, the head is way out here behind the back side. At this point, this head should be somewhere more over your belt buckle, okay? And again, this goes back to what I said earlier about being able to handle all pitches um, in the strike zone, particularly those pitches that are on the outer half of the plate or the outer third of the plate. It's going to make it difficult to keep our bat extending through this ball on this pitch on the outside part. You can see your bat is starting to come over here a little bit more to the pull side. So we'd rather see that head as opposed to it being here. We want to see that head more over here more over your belt buckle, more over this area right here, all right? Okay, we'll run it forward to, we'll run it forward to the finish area, okay? And just, again, the recoil of the body being back here is going to cause us to want to spin off. You can see this front foot, we kind of get our energy and our, our weight, everything's on this heel, and we're starting to spin open, so... We'd like to just see, see you keeping this front foot just a little bit more, a little bit more closed off, and the weight's going to be more on the ball of this foot, and it's going to be more on the inside part of this foot right here. That's going to, that's going to allow for better balance. Okay, so in going forward, Jacob, let's um, let's let's get a ball or a, or a bunch of balls, and let's set up a tee, and let's put it on the outside part of the plate. Okay. Let's work on keeping that front foot, that stride foot, no more open than 45 degrees. And let's just take our swing and let's finish up under balance. Okay, weight's on the inside part of this front foot right here. All right, and I'm going to keep this barrel of my bat traveling more into left center, center field to left center, okay, instead of that bat wanting to finish way over here. All right, Jacob, I appreciate you coming to our camp, buddy, and best